Okay, good morning, everybody, and welcome to PETV today. So the code word today is spatial awareness. So we're going to do something a little bit different today, a little bit of a different interpretation on spatial awareness, but you do not need any equipment today. So all I need you to do is just tuck your chair in and find a space for me. So when I said that we did a bit of a different interpretation on spatial awareness, we're not going to be using that in our exercises. It's going to be questions based on England. So we are spatially aware of our country and things in and around our country. So I've got a couple of questions here and I'm going to ask them to you and you either have to give the answer or the true or false, whatever the question may be. If you get the question right, you only have to do 10 of the exercise. If you get it wrong, you have to do 20. So. Let's get started straight away. So the exercise for this is star jump. So everyone knows what a star jump is. And the question is a true or false question. So the question is, the River Thames goes through London. Now, if you think it's true, hold your right hand up. If you think it's false, hold your left hand up. So I'm going to read it again. So the River Thames goes through London. Hands up if you think it's true or false. I'll give you three two, one. So I can reveal the answer to that is true. So if you got that right, well done. You only have to do 10. If you got it wrong, you're gonna do 20 with me. So it's star jumps, ready? And go, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You can stop if you got it right. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. So and the next <coughs> excuse me, question is another true or false question. So Manchester is the capital of England. So if you think that's true, hold your right hand up. If you think it's false, hold your left hand up. And the exercise that we'll be doing is lunges. So again, Manchester is the capital city of England. Right hand for true, left hand for false. I can reveal that the answer is false. London is the capital city. So if you got that right, well done. You only have to do 10. If you got it wrong, you've got to do 20 with me. So ready? One, two, three, we're gonna do this quickly. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you got that right, you can stop there. If you didn't, continue with me. We're on 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and last one, 20. Perfect, on to our next question. So, true or false, there are around 56 million people in England. So if you think that's true, put your right hand up. If you think that's false, put your left hand up. So the question is again, there are around 56 million people in England. True or false? I can reveal that the answer is true. There are 56 million people around approximately in the UK. So if you got that right, well done. If you didn't, unlucky, but the exercise is crisscross. So hands and hips, and you're just gonna crisscross it. So if you got that right, you only have to do 10. If you didn't, you're gonna do 20 with me. Ready? Off we go. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. On to our fourth question. So, this isn't a true or false qu um, question, but I'll give you two options and you will decide which one is which. So the question is, when did England last host the Olympics? Was it 
right arm up for 2010 or left hand up for 2012. So I'll read the question again. When did England last host the Olympics? 2010 or 2012? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. And I can reveal the answer was 2012, whichever one that was. So 2012. So the exercise that we're going to be doing is squats. So if you've got that right, you only have to do 10. If you got it wrong, you've got to do 20. Ready? Off we go. So one, two, three, four. You go nice and slow. Don't rush it if you need to. Six, bend those knees. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you got that right, you can stop there. If you didn't, continue with me. We're just about to start our 13th. There we go. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, and 20. Next question. How long has Queen Elizabeth been reigning as queen so far? So has she been queen for 59 years or 69 years? So I'll read it again. How long has Queen Elizabeth reigned as queen? 59 years, so hold up your right hand. Or if you think it's 69 years, hold up your left hand. I'll give you three seconds, ready? Three, two, one. I can reveal the answer was, drum roll please, 69 years. So if you got that right, well done. You only have to do 10. If you got it wrong, you have to do 20. So the exercise is just jumping in and out. So I'm gonna start in three, two, one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Right, next question. We've got two more questions left. When was the last time England won the World Cup? Was it 1966 or 1970? So I'll read it again. When was the last time England won the World Cup? Left, no, right hand for 1966 or left hand for 1970. I can reveal it was your right hand, 1966. If you got that right, well done. You only have to do 10. If you got it wrong, you have to unfortunately do 20. So the exercise is you're going to hold your arms out straight. You're going to bring it in, out, and then up. And that is one. So the aim is to keep your arms nice and strong because if you drop it, you lose the effect and then you look like spaghetti. So arms nice and strong, in, out, up. And we will have to do either 10 or 20 of those. So get ready for me. And off we go. So it's in, and that's one. In, two, in, three, and four. In, five, keep it nice and strong. Perfect, we're on seven. Eight, nine, ten. So if you got that right, you could stop. If not, carry on with me. We're on 12, 13, 40. You should start to feel it in your shoulders. 15, 16. Keep going. Five more. 17, 18, 19. Last one. 20. Perfect. On to our Final question. Who was our last prime minister? So not the current one, the one before Boris Johnson. So was it David Cameron? So if you think it was David Cameron, you're going to put up your right hand. Or if you think it's Theresa May, you're going to put up your left hand. So I'll read it one more time. Who was our last 
Prime Minister. Put your right hand up if you think it's David Cameron and put your left hand up if you think it's Theresa May. So I can reveal the answer was Theresa May. So if you got that right, well done. You only have to do 10. Again, if you got it wrong, you will have to do 20. And the exercise is twist. So you're just going to jump and twist on the spot. Ready? This is quite a quick one. So I'm going to go in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. Right. You can all take back your seats if you would like to. That is the end of today's PETV session. Like I said, it was a little bit different with the theme. So it was more about England instead of putting spatial awareness into a sport. But I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all next week. Bye.